picture this. You nurture and care for a newborn from their first breath, showering them with boundless love and support, only to witness them abruptly relocating to a country they've never known, without you. That's what happens when pandas fall short of turning four. No matter where they're born, they are required to return to China. So, does that mean that all pandas belong to China? Indeed. Well, except for one Mexican panda. But did you know that pandas were freely given by China until the 1980s? A policy shift has since transformed the arrangement into a loaned system. Loaning pandas were seen as promoting mutual partnerships between China and the recipient country. Host countries pay an annual fee of about 1.3 million per bear. If a cub is born, zoos pay an extra cub tax. You might or might not have heard of panda diplomacy, a form of soft power where if you wanted a panda, you best be on China's good side. Get on their bad side and well, bye bye panda? But why send pandas back at the age of 4? Simply to join the mating and breeding program. Pandas only have one chance to mate in a year and the success rate for breeding is only 1.3%. So it's definitely to ensure they don't go extinct. Here's hoping that Fu Bao and Lele become parents soon. <laughs>